yo what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and today i will be showing you five new solo clothing glitches all in one video and this also does work on our platforms and this also does work for the female and male character as well but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video now for the first clothing glitch I will be showing you a solo method on how to get the new red slash blue duffel bag and you can put this on any of your saved outfits. Just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go. Now you will be needing to register as CEO or MC. It doesn't matter. Now you will be needing a LS auto shop. If you do not have a auto shop, you can always tell a buddy or a stranger to lend you his. Now enter your auto shop. Now you will be needing to go over to the contract board. Now on the contract board, you will need to start up the job called ECU. It should be a picture of a train. Now if you do not have the ECU job contract, just basically continue to do the contracts till you find the ECU job up here. Now start up the ECU job and accept this alert. Now. You will be needing to make your way over to the yellow destination marker, which should be the boat right next to the docks. Now, if you do die during the mission, don't worry, the glitch will still work. Now, once you're at the boat, I will be showing you the first spot you do need to go, okay? Now, you will need to go over to the back of the boat and go over to the top of the boat right here. And you will need to take a picture of this document, okay? Now, once you do take the picture, now you will be needing to send it to whoever it says to send it to. Now, afterwards, make your way over to the front of the boat once again, and you should see the new duffel bag. Now, press right on the D-pad and pick up the duffel bag. Now, this part is very important. You will be needing a flying vehicle, and it doesn't matter which flying vehicle it is, the glitch will still work. Now. You will need to make your way over to the auto shop afterwards with your flying vehicle. Now fly really high near the auto shop like this. Now jump out of the flying vehicle. Then afterwards you will need to open up your parachute. Now all you want to do is make sure you glide into the auto shop where the yellow marker it is. Now if you did it correctly, it should be spawning you right into the auto shop with a loading screen. Now, if you did fail the attempt with the parachuting, it's fine. I will be showing you another method. So you see how I failed? Now, basically just, you will need to put your back towards the yellow marker. You will need to pull out a ray gun and shoot the ground. Now, this should be launching you right into the auto shop and you should be loading into the auto shop like this. Now, once you do load in, you should see the outfit you have on with no duffel bag like this. It's fine. Now, you'll be needing to make your way over to any ammunition store on the map. Now, make sure you do have a flying vehicle ready to go. If you do not have one, just steal one. Now, once you're at the nearest ammunition store, go over to the front counter, go over to the parachutes, go over to the parachute bags. Now, you'll be needing to purchase the Israel troop bag. Now, purchase the Israel troop bag, then back out from the front counter, and you will need to equip the Israel troop bag on through your interaction menu like I'm doing. Now, it only works for the Israel troop bag for some odd reason. Now, once you've done that, you will need to get inside of your flying vehicle. It doesn't matter which one it is. You will need to head over to the mass store and fly really high like this. Now, afterwards, jump out of the flying vehicle. Open up your parachute. Now, all you want to do is make sure you glide into the mass store. Now, this part's very important. Once you do glide into the mass store with your parachute open, you will need to continue the spam right on the D-pad right once you land into the mass store like this. Now, if you did it correctly, you will be able to save this as an outfit. Then save this as an outfit once. Now, back out from the mass store afterwards and apply the saved outfit you just made. And as you can see, you should have the new duffel bag appear on your saved outfit like this. 
Now, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you an easy and solo method on how to get invisible arms. This glitch is really simple to do. Now, make your way over to the nearest clothing store. It doesn't matter which one you go to. Now, once you're there, go over to the front counter. You will need to go over to the Diamond Casino Heist. And on the Diamond Casino Heist, you will need to find the section called Refuse Collectors. And Refuse Collectors, you will need to choose the first option, the Pickup. Now head over to the top section after you're done. I want you there, you will need to find the section called Overcoat Blazers. Once you're on the Overcoat Blazers, you will need to choose the first option. And as you can see, the invisible arms disappear. Now, the cool thing about this clothing glitch is you could change the pants, the shoes, the mask, and the helmet, and the invisible arms do stick. Now, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. Now, for this clothing glitch, I will be showing you a simple way on how to put any designer t-shirt logo on a leather black jacket. Now, you will be needing to make your way over to the nearest clothing store that is near you. Now make your way over to the front counter. Find the section called biker outfits. And on biker outfits, you will need to go over to the last one. It should be called the zombie. Purchase the zombie. Now head over to the top section. Go over to the designer t-shirts. And once you're on the designer t-shirts, Cycle through the designer t-shirts till it lets you put a designer logo on. Now, it's the majority of the designer logos it lets you merge onto the leather jacket like this. Now, the cool thing about this clothing glitch is you can change the pants, the mask, helmet, and shoes as well. For this clothing glitch, I will be showing you on how to save any color heist coveralls. Now, once again, make your way over to the nearest clothing store. Make your way over to the front counter. And once you're there, you will need to find the heist coveralls and purchase any of the heist coveralls with a gas mask. Now, afterwards, make your way over to the shoe section. Now, once you're at the shoe section, you will need to go over to the section called boots. And purchase any boots that let you keep the heist coveralls. And the heist coveralls will be tucked in the boots like this. Now, you will be needing to make your way over to the mask store after you're done. Go over to the section called headscarves. And once you're on headscarves, you will need to purchase any of the first three headscarves. Now, back out from the mask store afterwards. I walk away from the mask store, and as you can see, the high school overalls pants are there. Now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's move on to the last final clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you a simple and solo method on how to put a flight tube on your saved outfit. Now, make your way over to the closest clothing store. For the first method, all you want to do is go over to the discount store right here. And if you do not know where it's at, it's in front of the nightclub. I will be showing you on the map. So it is literally in front of the nightclub. So go over to this clothing store. And once you're there, all you want to do is go over to the front counter. Go over to the flight suits. And you will need to purchase any of the flight suits. So if you do not own a lot of money, you can purchase the cheapest one that's available. Now, once you do purchase any of the flight suits. All you want to do is make your way over to the nightclub. And once you're there, all you want to do is make your way inside of the nightclub like I did. And once you're inside, all you want to do is open up interaction menu, go over to style, and apply the saved outfit you want the to glitch on one time. Then back out from the interaction menu. And all you want to do is leave the nightclub and you should see the tube glitch appear on your saved outfit and all you want to do is go back to the clothing store and save this as an outfit and the tube glitch 
is forever saved on your saved outfit. But yeah, guys, let's not waste any more time and let's move on to the second two glitch method. For this method, I will be showing you on how to get the flight suit and the two glitch as well. So once again, go over to any clothing store on the map. On this method, it doesn't matter which clothing store you go to. And once you're there, make your way over to the front counter once again and go over to the flight suits. And like I said before, it doesn't matter which flight suit you purchase. If you do not own a lot of money, just purchase the cheapest one that's available. Now back off in the front counter, open up your interaction menu, go over to style and go over to change appearance and select the change appearance. Now it will be loading you into a little room like this. And once you're there, all you want to do is go over to the option where it says apparel. And once you're on apparel, all you want to do is go over to the crew t-shirt style and choose any of the crew t-shirt styles. Now, once you've done that, all you want to do is press B or whatever platform you are and press return to the main menu. Now go over to save and continue. Once you've done that, just accept the alert once again it pops up and it will be loading you into the last session you were in like this and now you should have the flight suit and the two glitch on your character and the cool thing about this as well is if you save this as an outfit this glitch does stick but yeah guys i also wanted to thank every single one of you individually for 19k subscribers Every single one of y'all are the best. And also, I just wanted to say, just follow your dreams. Don't let anyone put you down. I know that's kind of cringe, but you will achieve your dream one day if you actually put your mindset to it, okay? But yeah, guys, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Catch you in the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.